Just as we have seen food and gas prices increase, now we can expect to pay more to heat our homes this winter. Why is this the case? Well, starting in November, OPEC Plus says it will cut production by 2 million barrels a day. OPEC Plus is a group of the world's largest and most powerful oil suppliers. Experts believe this will drive up demand and prices for gas. They also think the move could increase home heating costs. Already more than 20 million families or about one of six American families are behind on utility bills. That's according to the National Energy Assistance Directors Association. Evening Edition's Kristen Edwards looked into how this affects people on fixed incomes and how to find relief. As temperatures go down, the need for heat goes up. That's not an unfamiliar concept, but what is, is how much it'll cost you. The National Energy Assistance Directors Association reports the average home heating cost is expected to rise 17.2% from last winter. For folks on a fixed income like these women who we met at the Lexington Senior Center. I don't like it. This is especially troubling. I just cringe. I just hate the idea of it because we are scratching to be alive now. We have to cut back on everything. They say their costs for food and gas are already up, but their social security checks are staying the same. So they're forced to cut back. There's ways, but we shouldn't have to. You just have to kind of watch how you spend your money. And try to spread it out as much as you can. The good news is there is help out there. You can contact your energy company directly to see if they offer any assistance. There are also several local nonprofits who help families pay their energy bills every winter, like the Community Action Council here in Lexington or the Bluegrass Community Action Partnership that serves surrounding counties. All somebody has to do is qualify and that uh, at least frees up a little extra money for them to uh, uh, have that money for food or you know medicine or whatever the case may be. You can start applying to their assistance program on November 7th. The Lexington Assistance Program will open applications in the coming months as well. Kristen Edwards, Evening Edition. Details on how to apply and who qualifies are posted right now on LEX18.com. While Americans will definitely be paying more this winter, we will not pay the most globally. Europeans' wallets will hurt the most because they rely more on Russian oil. On top of that, two major Russian pipelines are already closed. This has already raised prices 300% from last year to the highest levels since 2008. Again, this is over in Britain. But Americans will struggle because the U.S. sent natural gas to Europe to help them as the war on Ukraine continues. This means our stockpiles are running low and natural gas will natural gas costs will surge again.